My name is Michael Gonzalez, and this is my beautiful bride. Daisy Gonzalez. <laughs> We've been coming here for approximately four years, almost coming on four years now. Uh, we serve here in various capacities. Uh, I, uh, I head up the Grace in Action team, which is a visitation team here, as well as uh, we serve on the Deliverance Ministry. We're here to tell you our story, and our story begins um, back in New York, actually, where our marriage was on the brink of failure, and um, we had to make a decision, and decision to make it right. So on our last leg, <laughs> we decided to uh, move to Jersey. And uh... yeah, and in doing so, um, I actually pleaded with her to give me one last chance. Um, I was doing drugs. I was selling drugs. Uh, we, I was basically an alcoholic. Um, I was an addict, you know, in every sense of the word. Uh, I was also uh, abusive emotionally and mentally. Um, and, uh, and in that, I also, um, uh, I was also a womanizer as well. And with that being said, put her through quite a bit of torture and torment and uh, something I'm not proud of at all in hindsight. But one thing I can tell you is two months after we did move to New Jersey, um, in the middle of that uh, incredible uh, firestorm, uh, I begged her to give me one last chance. And two months after moving to Jersey, as I mentioned, uh, she... Um, met someone and it was another couple that moved literally across the street from us in the development and uh, through Daisy uh, invited us to go to a service. Funny thing she said to me, well you know if you come I just want you to know that it's going to be held in this small theater of a high school and you're not going to find any incense and you're not going to find crosses or statues and I thought hmm. What uh, happened? Yeah, I, I was kind of blown away because, you know, all we knew uh, were, is the grandeur of church, you know, the big statues and the gold trimmings and, you know, the big uh, sanctuaries. And uh, when she told us that they were meeting in a music room, immediately I thought cult. My wife says to me, she goes, I'll tell you what, Michael, if I don't feel anything, we won't ever go again. And I took her up on that bet because my experience was that we weren't going to feel anything. We've never felt anything <laughs> ever. So with that being said, I took her up on that bet thinking that that was going to be the case. Mm -hmm. And so we went. We felt like he was talking to us because he was talking about adultery. He was talking about honoring um, your marriage. He was talking about raising your children in the way that they should go and we kind of looked at each other and we <laughs> kind of thought, well, who, who told him about our life? You know, we thought he was speaking to us and we also thought that somebody went and told him something about us and that it was all, you know, very, it was like a setup, right? Yeah, yeah actually, I, I literally turned to her and say, what did you tell that couple about me? I said, you must have said something because there's no way that that man can be speaking the way he's speaking without knowing who I am and what I'm doing. And uh, my wife adamantly said, I haven't said anything. And so we continued to listen to his message. And with that being said, um, automatically, um, we started to feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit, not even knowing, not even knowing what that, real, that feeling was. And, during the, and in the middle of that sermon, during that sermon and in the middle of that sermon, he stopped what he was doing and led by God, walked up to us, laid hands on us, and said a prayer. And, after, and in the middle of that prayer, I felt the fire. Yes. It was almost like being put in an oven. Mm -hmm. And I was sweating profusely. I couldn't stop sweating. And my wife was crying as though she lost a loved one. I mean, an intense weeping that was happening at that moment. And after his prayer was done, he, he said a word over us, and he declared that things that we were going to do some things. But the funniest part of it all was is that, and after it all, it, as miraculous an experience that was, I turned to my wife and I said, "I guess we're coming back." Right. <laughs> well, I think what you said was, "Did you feel something?" <laughs> Did you feel something? Right. right. <laughs> Did you feel something? So I and guess I we're said, coming. "Yes, I guess we're coming back." <laughs> 